Good morning. Welcome to day six on the trail. It's a beautiful morning. Last night, at least I felt, was the coldest so far. Feet didn't get cold or anything. The torso got a little bit cold, I think. But it was a chilly, chilly start breaking camp this morning. It's about seven o'clock or 7.10 and we're back on the trail. We have about four and a half miles to Forester Pass. Hopefully by the time we get there, the snow and ice will have had a chance to kind of melt a little bit and turn a little more slushy. We'll make it a little safer and a little easier to, to cross. But as usual, we got a nice climb out of camp this morning at about 11,100 feet. <sighs> I need to eat a little bit of breakfast. Get me going. <sighs> okay, I'll keep on stepping. Okay, we uh, hit the first little snow field we got across. Sorry, I had to stop taking my windbreaker off and take a very nice scenic poop. And I just caught back up with Sean. So we've got a lot of this until we get over, over that, which is a uh, Force your pass, 13,100, 200, something like that. Howdy. Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Well, doing well. It's all yours. All right. All right. <laughs> Farewell. Likewise. Have a good one. Did you enjoy that snow, Sean? Yes, I did. <laughs> Actually, I like the snow. It is kind of fun. Something different, it's fun. Yep. So here's the trail. I'm not sure where Forester Pass is, but at some point it's got to go over somewhere. Still headed up Forester Pass. The little, uh, Snow patches aren't too bad. They're a little slick, but a little slushy. You know, if really, if you just maintain three points of contact and uh, just take your time. If you're on any kind of slope at all, shorten your uphill pole. And then the other one, the downhill pole, can be, you know, the normal length for a little longer if you like, and that'll, that'll help a lot. It's a beautiful climb, but it's a climb. <laughs>
Okay, so we just got to the base of Forrester and we're starting the switchbacks. We came across all that snow and I know that doesn't look like much and no, you can't just, it's got big holes in it called sun cups and it is very difficult to walk across, very easy to fall, twist your knee, blow it out. I'll try to get a closer shot if we come across some more. <laughs> oh, we're going to. Anyway, we're going to head up. Oh, somewhere. Hey there, we're still continuing up uh, Forester Pass, we're at uh, 13,000, oh, yeah, about 13,000. Uh, Sean went ahead, he ate a little bit earlier, I'm going to stop just for quick, quick something, and then uh, I'll catch up with him, and uh, we should go down the back side of Forester, and keep on going. Uh, I'm going to show you my view, because... It's, it's pretty incredible. Guess what? Another cookie. Complete cookie. It's hard to see in it. And the tortillas, so... Yep. That's my view. Just trying to make sure you guys grasp the view that I have from my little spot. It's kind of hard to get a perspective, but... I'm racing up this hill, oh, trying to catch Sean. <clears throat> Just hit 13,000, I think, or 13,100. I don't know who's counting, right? Whoo, he's whooping, whooping my tail. I can tell you that much. Oh, look at Yeah. yeah. Feel like you're here? I hope so. Minus the heavy breathing and all. <clears throat> a little switch back. Whew. Keep thinking I'll see him around any one of these corners. That will get your blood flowing. Okay. okay. Put this down before I pass out or trip. It's like a little hut, like it's super hard. Like you have to kind of know what you're looking for. Okay. But you'll be able. I think the first sign I got of it was that bighorn. Cool, cool. Oh, yeah. It's so worth yeah. it. Do it for sunrise if you can. Yeah, I was you like, had a good time? Oh yeah, because I'm doing northbound, so I was like, I don't yeah. want to do it. Like, you know, that's like a shitty start a little bit. It was like a good nice mm -hmm. start, but one in the morning you had to wake up, and then like I met so many PCT hikers, and they're like, oh, we need to do it. Oh, uh, okay, so 145, and like, I think that was perfect timing. Okay. Because like, are you guys cool? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I must be watching you. Yeah. Oh, this the backside of Forester Pass. I'm going to get near to Head down. <laughs> I'm gonna cross this little snowfield. There you go.
Woo! That was a workout. Arms are burning, legs burn, rears burning. <laughs> and uh shun's still coming off. That 150 yards turned into about 400. That was grueling. And it's uh it's turning slushy, so it's uh you really gotta go slow. I know that doesn't look like much of an angle, but about where he's at, that's about a 35, 45 degree slope right there. And if you trip, you those sun pockets may catch you, but they may not. I'll walk up there and see if I can show you how deep those things are. Okay, so I stuck my trekking pole in there. I don't know if you can't really see it, but anyway, it's 125 centimeters deep. You do the math. I don't remember what it is. 2.54 centimeters per inch or something so if you're that curious you can look that up and see if i'm right Okay. <laughs> oh, my rear is cold. Yeah. You okay? Yep. Mm, yeah, it's good. Okay, we've made it down to the meadow on the backside of Forester Pass. Um, it's, uh, I think, 5 o'clock. It's been a good day. It's been productive. However, <laughs> we've gone about 8 miles so far. And we need to go about another 7 miles to hit our mark um, to walk in for our resupply tomorrow. We're gonna have a late night. It'll put us probably at right at about 15 miles and about 15 hours of walking. <laughs> I'll give you an update a little further down the road, but just came down to this meadow. Beautiful little lake. Be nice to camp there, but we gotta move on. Good evening. The sun just went behind the mountain. It's uh, 6.45, 7 o'clock. It's been a big day. We've still got two more miles to go. And that's going to bring the total to about 15 miles. 
So, eh, that's pretty cool. That uh, That's gonna be our biggest day so far. Um, we're gonna get into camp at dark. I hope we can actually find a camp spot at our final destination, because if not, you don't have really a choice but to go further up the trail or backtrack. You can't camp in undesignated areas. I'm pretty whooped. I think uh, Sean's pretty whooped. We're just kind of staggering through the woods at this point. <laughs> but overall, it's been a good day. Saw a lot of beautiful, beautiful sights. All right, this is the last update. We will uh, see y'all later.